Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video I will show you the in month function. So whenever we have a need where we need to test whether a date is falling within the specified base date month then we will going to use the in month function as it returns true or false. So it's very helpful in doing the logic checking. So timestamp it has three parameters and all the threes are required and uh, as you can see timestamp is the time is the date or timestamp you want to evaluate base date is basically a date uh, through which you want to check whether this date is falling in the month specified in the base date and finally the period number where zero is default that means uh, the current month but one indicates that uh, check in the next month or two indicate check in next to next month similarly minus one indicate check in the previous month for this validation timestamps validation or date validation so let's see how we can implement it in the uh, in the backend first of all so over here in the data we have a temp table and it has invoice date and invoice id so we want to check let's say whether a particular invoice is has fallen in a particular month so for that i will create one table check month i will load all the previous columns load star uh, i will reference this table in a minute but uh, star will indicate that i want all invoice id and invoice date and then we want to specify the function which is in month and uh, the timestamp is INV date, invoice date, and then the date in which we want to uh, check. So, for example, the date we want to give is, let's say, 20th March. So, in double quotation, 20 March 2012, right? And then finally, zero will going to indicate that look in the current month, okay? Now, once it is this, then we will call this column as check underscore month and then we will refer this table resident spelling is wrong resident temp table temp table and uh, that's it so once since all of the columns these columns are in this table check month so we don't need this table and i'll going to drop this drop table temp table now i'll hit save and load it close to analysis let me take the chart which is table chart add the dimension which is first dimension is invoice date the raw date so we wanted to check for this particular date and uh, that check is available in this column check month so now you can see minus one indicates true which is little odd as if you would compare with the previously used uh, either spreadsheet or programming language but here in click sense minus one indicates that it is a true case so since we specified the 20th of March that's why it has said that this particular date is falling in the this month but let's say uh, we want to move ahead to few months so from March April May June July August September, October, November, December. So which is like ninth month. So let me see if I specify nine over here. I'm just checking and trying to test. Load, close, come here in analysis. Yeah, so December is basically in the ninth month if we start from March and that's why it has said minus one. So true in case of this. So that's basically what you need to do specify the nine or any relevant parameter based on how far or back you want to go so if you want to go nine month back you will going to specify minus nine so with the help of these parameters you can uh, you can basically make an analysis and generally uh, when you are specifying any sort of logic or anything and you want to take only those dates which are falling in a particular month then this will be really helpful because dynamically you want to identify this so that's about it and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic